from your official UK station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Game Day. Presented by Tax Act. File for less and get more. Welcome in to BBN Game Day. I'm Keith Farmer. And I'm Anna Trullo. Keith, maybe not the Game Day <laughs> Kentucky fans were expecting today after the early end of the basketball season, but we'll get through it together, right? Yeah, and uh, hey, <laughs> all we can do at this point is focus on what's left, and spring football has totally taken over campus in the past week. The Cats are working under their third offensive coordinator in just as many seasons, but several players have talked with us about the transition from the Cohen offense to the Ritz Scangarillo offense, and None of them have seemed too concerned with the changes so far. Both uh, guys run similar pro-style offenses. And having Will Levis back at quarterback will help with the transition as well. That consistency is great news for this offense. The same can be said for the senior Chris Rodriguez. Coming back for one more <laughs> ride with the Cats, we had the chance to talk with both Levis and C-Rod this week. And they were both very complimentary of each other and optimistic about what they can accomplish as a duo this fall. I mean, C-Rod's just going to be C-Rod. He's, he's, he's what he is. He's, he's a tough back. He's never going to go down on first contact. He's going to fall forward and, and get those chunk yardage uh, plays. And I always, we always make fun of him that he can, he can never rip off the big ones. So hopefully we can get some more of those this year. But he's got it in him. And just um, I think when he's got the opportunity and he gets to that second level, he's going to be able to make some huge plays for us like he has in the past. I thought Will was going to leave. I was like, this is a great quarterback. He has a lot of potential. Like, I can see him leaving. He's a great leader, you know. He was here for a couple months and everybody was like, yo, like, everybody listens to him. And I've been here for four or five years and, you know, I, I get to certain people, uh, but he just connects with everybody, you know. There's nothing or nobody that he doesn't connect with in this building. I still think that's so cool mm -hmm. every time yeah. I hear it. That's a special guy. And great to hear from those two who have to be leaders on and off the field, Keith. Oh, yeah, and they certainly will be. But it's not all sunshine and roses. There are a few position groups that have found themselves in the spotlight as potential areas of concern. Not used to saying this, but one of those areas is the big blue wall due to mostly the fact that three guys from last year's line are heading to the NFL, Darian Kennard, Dare Rosenthal, and Luke Fortner. But in terms of calling this a rebuilding year for the O-line, incoming senior Kenneth Horsey says, not so fast. I don't feel like, feel like this line is rebuilt. I feel like it's really just reloaded. We've added some, we've had some great talent. We've had, um, like my boy Tayshawn, in the mix now. Um, but it's just at the at the end of the day, it's we've built, we've established a culture with the Big Blue Wall, and whoever comes whoever comes into that culture, coaches believe that they're a best that they'll fit greatly within that culture. The wide receiver room as a whole is another group mm -hmm. that we're all going to be really invested in because you can't just replace Wondell Robinson and Josh Ali. Yeah, that's an understatement, and those guys kind of spoiled us a little they bit. Did. So maybe the solution this year is success by committee. It's a full room, 13 total guys listed as wide receivers on the first roster of the spring. And this list doesn't even include Alabama transfer Javon Baker, who can't get to campus until this summer, but new offensive coordinator Rich Gangarillo likes that depth, that versatility, and the competition it creates. I've been very pleased with the group. There's a great complementary skill set of group of guys. Um, we got fast guys, we got long guys, we got guys that that'll play uh, with their length and physicality. Um, so there's. Uh, I don't think there's a ton of experience, but I think there's some quality uh, football IQs that have learned, pick things up fast. And so as a group, I've been real pleased. The one huddles look, look pretty darn good. Well, Mark Stoops also met with the media this week to give us an update on how things are going so far from his perspective. And unfortunately, he did confirm the season ending injury for Vito Tisdale. That's being reported as a knee injury, and that's a big loss for this defense. A lot of speculation this offseason. Vito is going to get moved to cornerback, and that's a real position of need for the Cats this season. He's a versatile player, probably would have moved around quite a bit, and he's explosive. We started to see that toward the end of last season, specifically in the bowl game. Basically, he's not going to be an easy guy to replace. So DB Carrington Valentine says everyone has to step up their game. It's really tough. You know, I check in on Vito every day. Like, he's one of my really good friends, you know. But at the same time, like, it's like I told 
I told like some of the young guys, like like you really have to step up now. You know what I mean? Like that's another older guy that we had in the room, like another one of the leaders. Like you have to step up. You know what I mean? This is like this is like your y'all your calling. You know what I mean? So like basically like that's like another like eye opener for them. You know what I mean? Like oh, I have to mature quick. You know what I mean? Like this is like like spring is only so long. You know what I mean? Like I have to mature quick. I have to get in here. You know what I mean? I have to take care of my body. Like stuff like that. And I love sitting down and talking there with um, Carrington because he kind of tells it like it is, mm -hmm. but he also stays humble enough yeah. and he knows, yeah, I've got to keep working, keep leading mm -hmm. the younger guys yep. in our position and group. And those are two great qualities from a leader. I, mm -hmm. The more I see from him, the more I like. So I'm yeah. excited, excited yeah. to see him step up uh, on and off the field. Yeah. And we can speculate all day, but the fact is some people are lucky enough they actually get to watch <laughs> practice. Jeff Picoro is one of those guys. I had the chance to catch up with him right after practice earlier this week. You'll hear him and his take right after the break. You're watching BBN Game Day. BBN Game Day, sponsored by Coca-Cola, Hunt Brothers Pizza, Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, Kentucky Select Chevy Dealers, Kroger, Lexington Opera House, Papa John's, Shelter Insurance, and Specialty Foods Group. This can't be right. Trouble with your taxes? You know, filing your taxes doesn't have to be complicated. With Tax Act, filing is simple. Incoming! Switch to Tax Act and start for free. Good morning, America. Today, thousands of our teammates will make and deliver over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors locally, in towns large and small. From the heartland to the coast, our products are moving and our trucks are rolling. We share a passion and a purpose. We love to refresh and serve our communities. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. Hunter Brothers Pizza has been proudly serving communities across America for over 25 years. Choose from Hunt Brothers Pizza's original crust or thin crust. Then customize your pizza with any of our 10 toppings to choose from at no extra charge. With that many options, there's sure to be a topping combination for everyone to enjoy a Hunt Brothers Pizza. Download the Hunt Brothers Pizza app to find one of our 7,500 locations inside a convenience store near you. Miscellaneous expenses. Tax worries. <laughs> With Tax Act, you file for less and get your maximum refund. You're gonna need this. Oh, other way. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Switch to Tax Act and start for free. T -t -t -tax Act. You're watching BBM Game Day, presented by Tax Act. File for less and get more. Welcome back to BBN Game Day. Today is practice number six for the UK football team. Now remember, they only get 12 total plus Pro Day and the Blue White Spring Game. So every day, every rep counts. Jeff Picoro has been able to see it all with his own two eyes, and he talked with Keith about what he's noticed at practice so far. All right, Pick, uh, you've been in spring practice. Tell us uh, just in a broad sense what you're seeing out of this team so far. I think you're seeing a lot of, of leadership out there by a lot of the older guys. And that's exactly what you need in spring because you're down a little bit because you don't have the freshmen in yet. So it, it's it's a it's a small bunch a group of guys. And uh, this is where you get all your work done. It really is. This is where you can really make great strides leading into the fall. This is where you can catch the coach's eye, so to speak. Isn't the leadership something that kind of builds the program? Like we've seen guys kind of take that next step each year. Yeah, and it's great that you have a guy like Will Levis on the offensive side because he's such a leader. I mean, it, just you watch him and the, it's like the Pied Piper, man. Everybody just follows whatever he does. Uh, and in practice, if he needs it, he, you know, he'll clap his hands and the, and the guys uh, respond. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what you need. And then on the defensive side, it's interesting because you've got one of the young guys who's actually injured and, and has to wear the red shirt out there, and that's Oxendine. Yeah. And Octavius is that guy on the sideline that's going crazy when a defense nice. makes any kind of a play, an interception, or they, they get a big hit, or somebody makes a, you know, a sack where they touch the quarterback. He's, he just goes crazy. And, and that's the enthusiasm you need in spring because you don't have a whole lot to look forward to. You get the spring game, but you know, you're not you're not playing Georgia, you're not playing Florida, right. you're playing against the other guys. Now it was interesting when we played, the winner of that game got steak and the losers got uh, beans and franks. Okay. So beanies and weenies against steak. So you wanted to win, that's for sure. All right, so let's break on, uh, on down on each side. Sure. And, and offensively, I mean, you know, you got a lot of the key parts back. 
back, but they got this kind of new, similar offense. How similar does it look to you? Very similar. Okay. And when you see number nine, you'll think number one. It's the same name on the back, yeah. but Robinson is the real deal from, that came over from Virginia Tech. Yeah. Uh, Tavion, he's, 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 he's got great hands. Um, I, I, I love the way he runs out of his cuts. He's a lot like Wondell. They're doing a lot of the same things. And, you know, it's interesting. A lot of people have talked to him and said, you know, what, did, have you studied the San Francisco offense or anything like that? He goes, I studied Debo Samuel. You know, so uh, <laughs> he's that kind of a player. He really yeah. is. He's just a little bit bigger version of Wondell. But, yeah. man, he's he's really good. I really like him. But the, the thing is, I'm still seeing is that offensive line. I think that that's what needs to gel. Mm -hmm. Eli, I think, is going to be fine at center. I mean, okay. he's done a great job there. And, and he's going to be the next one in that line of really good centers, I think, here at UK. Then defensively, I think there's probably some holes to fill, some some youth, some guys injured, like you mentioned. But you know, at least it's the same for the most part, coaching staff, yep. a lot of great players yep. that were here last year. I, I tell you what, the linebacking core is going to be the best ever here. I mean, mm. yeah, I, I played with wow. three guys that the, all three have made the pros. You know, McCullen <laughs> and, and, and Schroeder and Grimsley played forever uh, in, in the NFL. But these guys are, are five, six deep. Mm. Um, I mean, Wallace looks great. You know, he's a true sophomore. Mm. So he's only been on campus a year, if that. Um, he looks really good. Square, of course, is the leader. JJ's back, and he's really doing a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's a really Really deep. Uh, Jones coming back was huge, huge for them. Square coming back. Uh, that's the leaders of the defense. I, I think it's going to give that defensive line time to gel, but they've got some big kids up there, and Ox is going to be great when he gets back, uh, you know, in the fall. Uh, but I, I think Vito Tisdale is a humongous loss for this team. Yeah. And uh, they're, they're, I think they're right now a couple days after the injury and the surgery. I think they're still kind of scratching their head as where do we how do we put this unit together in the backfield? So that I think is their biggest need on the entire team is going to be filling that defense because they lost a lot in the secondary and, and, and losing Tisdale was a huge blow to the defense. It's going to be so hard seeing spring practice in and going through a summer. We're ready for a game. Uh, I, we? I want football. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> so, you know, especially, you know, basketball ended on both sides and you're like, gosh, darn it. But um, it, football's here. They're practicing yeah. and, you know, th this is the season and everybody, especially there's a little bit of a chill in the air and the guys <laughs> are jumping around. They look really good. I, I'm telling good. you, this is, this is going to be a really, really good team. Number seven is a huge leader. I think with seven, they're going to, I, I think, double digit wins again this year. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Big thanks to Pick for his time. And remember, you can get your first look at this year's team on Saturday, April 9th for the annual spring game. This year's presented by Academy Sports and will be free to the public. No tickets required. The fun starts at 1 o'clock. Great chance for the whole family to come out to Kroger Field and watch a little football in April. Nothing better. But if you can't make it to Lexington, it'll also be shown on the SEC Network Plus. And, of course, we'll have coverage here on BBN Game Day. More football talk still coming up, including a hilarious segment with tight end Brendan Bates. But first, Ryan Howard's time as a Wildcat has come to an end, and we'll talk about her legacy right after this. My eight-year-old always asks when I come home, Dad, did you help people today? And most days, I do help people. But too often, I can't help people who make poor decisions, like paying more attention to their phone than to the road when they're behind the wheel, or not bothering to wear their seatbelt. Be safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Kroger, we believe fresh is all about standards. That's why we do up to a 27-point inspection on our produce. Like for oranges, we check for color and scarring and more. Keeping only the best of the best on our shelves. Because when it comes to fresh for everyone, we believe the juice is worth the squeeze. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Tune in to the Nick Mingione Show on Monday nights on 630 WLAP in Central Kentucky or stream anywhere on UKAthletics.com. Darren Hedrick talks with the Kentucky baseball head coach every week to share the latest from the Batcats. Welcome back to BBN Game Day. It's time now for this week for the Wildcats brought to you by Toyota. Let's start with baseball. The Batcats Friday night had their first meeting against 17th ranked Georgia. Two more games to go in the series Saturday at one on the SEC Network Plus and Sunday at one on SEC Network. Those are going to happen right here in Lexington. So get out to Kentucky Proud Park to cheer on the Cats. 
It's a busy weekend for the softball team as well. They have the Auburn Tigers at home. Got the win Friday night, 11 to three. Big win after that series with Alabama and then midweek game against Oklahoma. They also have one o'clock games against the Tigers on Saturday and Sunday. Well, the Kentucky track and field programs never really stop, right? Outdoor season is officially in full swing. They're split up this weekend, though. The distance runners are in Raleigh, North Carolina for the Raleigh Relays, while two more Wildcats are in Austin, Texas, competing in the heptathlon in the Texas Relays. You can keep up with all of the cats and their results this weekend on UK Athletics. Athletics.com. It's been almost a week now since the women's basketball season came to an end with the Cats falling to Princeton and the first round of the NCAA tournament. A disappointing end, but we shouldn't let it take away from that magical stretch where the Cats won 10 games in a row, upset the SEC's first, second, and third best teams, and won the conference championship for just the second time in program history and the first time in 40 years, mm -hmm. knocking off the best team in the country on a last-second shot in the process. Keith, I think that's how I'll remember this team. Just the grit it took them to get yeah, there. Yeah, they, they were a lot of fun to watch down the stretch. And we'll always remember as well Ryan Howard and what she did for this program in all of women's basketball, uh, finishing her career in Lexington as a three-time first-team All-American. And she now sits in second place on Kentucky's basketball's all-time leading scorers list behind only Valerie Steele and ahead of men's greats, Dan Issel, Kenny Walker, and Jack Givens. Just an incredible career for Howard. She'll be one of the top picks in this year's WNBA draft and will continue to represent the Cats well, but she'll certainly be missed here, Anna. Absolutely. So will her experience, but I'm so excited mm -hmm. to see where she ends up mm -hmm. in, the, in WNBA. I think we'll be talking about her for a while. She's not the only Wildcat from this year's roster leaving. We learned this week Driana Edwards, Jasmine Massengill, and Treasure Hunt have all entered the transfer portal. You see their season averages here. Edwards was the team's second leading scorer behind Ryan Howard, averaging about 16 points in 26 games played. She missed five games this season with two separate issues, one academic and one disciplinary, but then came back stronger than ever and, of course, will be remembered for her shot at the buzzer to beat number one South Carolina. Massengill was a steady point guard all year, and Massengill and Hunt were both playing the best basketball of their careers at the end of the season. And their departures, plus Ryan Howard's graduation, means Kentucky, as it stands now, will return just 35.5% of its points, 40% of its rebounding, and 43% of its minutes next season. Keep in mind, Blair Green was out all this year with an injury. If she comes back, that'll be a huge help. Robin Benton hit her stride at the end of the season, and Jada Walker should take a solid step forward in year two. And you do have four freshmen coming in, but Coach Kyra Elsey and her staff will definitely be looking to reload this offseason. That's exactly right. More BAB in game days right after this. Do two W2s make a W4? Hi, I'm April. I know tax season can be a little messy. With Tax Act, you get your maximum refund. Switch to Tax Act and start for free. It's Chevy Truck Month, and it's time to add the perfect accessories to your new Chevy. Make it bolder. Make it work harder. Make it your own. Find new possibilities. Find new roads. Very well qualified buyers can get 0% financing on most Chevy pickup trucks. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward the eligible purchase of a new Chevy truck with accessories. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. Using tax filing software, smart. Know what's smarter? Using Tax Act. The one with the expertise to help you get more. Switch to Tax Act and start for free. T -t 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 -tax Act. You're watching BBM Game Day, presented by Tax Act. File for less and get more. Welcome back. If there's anything we know about Big Blue Nation, it's that you love Vince Merrill and <laughs> you want to see his tight end group shown some love as well. That's right. With a new offensive coordinator again, we <laughs> got to know, are the tight ends going to be involved in the passing game this year? It's looking like it, um, especially seeing the way our offense is going. And um, the more stuff we implement each day, the more tight ends are receiving some tar targets. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Great answer there. <laughs> Brennan Bates, we love him. He's the best. Always so funny. Great on the field and one of those sneaky athletic tight ends, but he's also hilarious off the field. He caught up with Curtis Birch to clarify what his name really is and what he wishes he had for breakfast this morning. <laughs> now joined by... 
Brendan Bates. How often does your name get mispronounced as Brandon? Um, often. Yeah, often a lot. Uh, it's been going on my whole life. So um, it's either, I mean, I've heard people call me Brennan, like with an N. And that's that's uh, got a basketball player named Brennan Canada. So yeah, that, uh, maybe that's the cause of that here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it's been going on my whole life. But Brandon, Brennan, so. So Brendan. Brendan, yes, it's Brendan, yeah. So coming back from spring break, two practices under your belt. What was the? How'd you use spring break? I'm sure you probably had some fun, but what was your what was your deal? Well, this spring break, uh, being a senior and all, I it was a very you know more. I, I stayed here. I didn't go anywhere. I stayed here, um, and kind of just watched film. I studied for this new offense and watched film. Um, worked out just. You know, kind of working my body right, especially and since I'm a little heavier now than I was before. Kind of got to keep running and stay in shape. Uh, been on a new diet, too. That's been real fun. But, it's, you know, just a very simple spring break. Not going to, you know, Panama City or whatever. <laughs> not going to Italy like not, the court. Yeah, not going to Rome like the quarterback. What is, what is he doing? You know, crazy. So, all right, well, let's ask, talk about that new diet. What does that entail, and what are you trying to accomplish by it? Yeah, so – that diet is more of like a protein diet. Right now, I just want to lose, um, be more lean, lose a little bit of that fat, uh, be a little faster. So if I uh, just stick into this diet for months on end until camp, should be there, especially with the running. But yeah, that's what I kind of want to get into. So what's the toughest part of the new diet? Uh, eating the same thing every day. Uh, it's right now I've been eating salmon, rice, and broccoli every day. Um, because I don't like anything else they have, just because that's my preference. <laughs> so that, <laughs> you're not having that for breakfast, though, are you? Uh, no, no, no. The breakfast, I eat a, a protein bar. That's my breakfast. <laughs> Used to be, if I don't even want to, my breakfast before was like bacon, eggs, biscuits, sausage, ham. Then back for round two. It was bad. It was bad. It was a bad habit that I had. You know, because coming here, you know, I was like 225, 230, freshman year, real skinny kid. And all they, t they teach you to do is like, all right, you know, if you want to play this position at a high level, you got to gain some weight, you know, be strong in the weight room, which I did. Very strong in the weight room. Just, you know, just kept eating. I kept eating. Now this diet's going to help me get back to where I want to be. Ian game day is right after this. <laughs> A special thank you to our Cornerstone partners, Central Bank, the official bank of UK Athletics, and Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. Okay, you want to make pizza night with the family even better? Bam! Get yourself this Parmesan crusted papadilla. So while the kids grab their slices, you'll be crunching on toasty flatbread folded with meats and cheese. It's like a golden crispy little fireworks show in your mouth. Oh, Woo. get a Parmesan crusted papadilla just for you, only at Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza. Some of my fondest childhood memories are from volunteering with my grandmother. Helping others was her passion. She'd always say, the sweetest fruits of life come from serving others. And she was right. At Shelter Insurance, we strive to make a positive impact in the communities where we work and live. For your auto, home, and life, find an agent at shelterinsurance.com. The sun shines bright, the corn tops ripe, and birds make music all the day. This is our old Kentucky home, a place where we take the time to create and enjoy life's sweetest pleasures, like the finest Kentucky bourbon, the most authentic bluegrass music, and the most heartwarming family meal times that feature the highest quality meats from Kentucky Legend. Serve your family the very best. Kentucky Legend, where food ought to come from. The Kentucky Swimming and Diving Programs get our Coke Play of the Week. The women's teams have wrapped up their four-day championship meet, finishing NCAAs with four first-team All-Americans, 14 All-America honorable mentions, one school record, and mm. eight personal best times. Nice. The team earned a 12th place finish. That's the Cats' second best team finish in program history. And now it's the men's turn to compete this week. Today is the final day for them, so follow along on UKAthletics.com or on their Twitter 
at UK Swim Dive. Thanks for joining us on another episode of BBN Game Day. We'll be back again, same time, same place next week. Until then, make sure that you're watching BBN Tonight, weeknights at 7.30 on LEX 18, the LEX 18 app, and anytime on BBNTonight.com. Sponsored by Coca-Cola, Hunt Brothers Pizza, Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, Kentucky Select Chevy Dealers, Kroger, Lexington Opera House, Papa John's, Shelter Insurance, and Specialty Foods Group.